Hey guys, welcome to your YouTube channel where we talk all about gate exam and we also talk about the admissions. So this time talking about the various programs provided by the Computer Science and Engineering Department at IIT Hyderabad. Exactly, we are talking about the IIT Hyderabad MTech in CSE. For all you to know that uh, the admission time is on right now and uh, most of the IITs are extending their date for applying. So IIT Hyderabad also has done the same and it has extended the date till the April 30th. So you still can apply there. So IIT Hyderabad CSE department uh, offers a lot of different types of MTech program. Different type means TA, RA sponsored, non-sponsored, MHRD sponsored and etc. So there were a lot of confusion actually in among students. In fact, even I was confused when I first up went on there and I was just trying to find out and figure out all the information. Uh, at different different places, they are talking about the same thing indifferently. And the names are different. Like once you go into the admission portal while you are ready to apply, the way they have shown uh, them in different different categories, it is little different when you come to the computer science engineering department home page and go to the mtech admissions and then check out the programs there then they are named differently there so they were confused but i tried to find out uh, a kind of amalgam between the two different names and you know i have come up with an intention that i would be able to sort out some confusion that you have so let's start and let's know what different programs are available there so i would uh, sum up it in four different types of programs First, let me tell you the names of them, then we will get into the detail that how the admission is going to happen and uh, uh, who all are eligible to apply for that. The very first one uh, is MHRD 2 year. MHRD we all know the Ministry of Human Resource and Development. So it's a regular MTech program offered by like IIT Hyderabad, uh, sorry IIT Bombay or IIT Kanpur or IIT Delhi or IIT Madras. The same MTech 2 year program. Okay. So, and with that, you definitely need a gate qualification. So, this is MHRD 2 year with gate qualification. They always offer in the stream computer science and engineering. This year, this year from 2020, they have introduced a new specialization for this, and that is networks and information security. So, like, there have been double chances. The chances have become double because there are number of seats for CSE, and now because they have another program, so you have another program to apply for. Okay. The second category is MHRD 3 year with GATE. So again the GATE exam is compulsory for this. You have to appear for GATE and again it's MHRD sponsor so you have the stipend by the MHRD. It's a MTech 3 year RA category you can consider it as. Okay. That you will be uh, doing for 3 year and you will be uh, funded by the MHRD. The third category is RA 3 year program. So this is again mtech three-year program now this is different from that okay how it is different that is that is funded by mhrd your stipend is coming from mhrd and here this is a research assistantship project funded program so in this it is you can consider this more or less like iit bombay ra okay iit bombay mtech ra where you uh, get enrolled uh, and you also get enrolled for a specific sponsored project the project running under the department so here you will be assigned a specific project which will be funded by the project itself okay so your stipend or your sponsorship will be coming through the project it again has two options one is through gate yes for that there is no experience required okay you can as a fresher you can apply for that the second category is gate is optional but experience you should have six month experience at iit hyderabad so basically this this category is for those who are already working as a project trainee uh, or as a research trainee under some project in the department so many people do go uh, for these kind of training uh, you know assistantships or trainings under iits and then further they want to pursue their higher degree right there so for those candidates this candidate this particular category applies it is again available only in computer science and engineering see only mtech sec 2 year is available in this new uh, branch that is network security rest all are available only in computer science now let's come to the fourth category which is totally sponsored so mtech sponsored 2 year it is for 2 year but it will be sponsored by whom 
either by government lab or PSU. That means you are supposed to be employee of any of the government lab or PSU and your employer should be ready to sponsor your intake. Okay, it's for those candidates. Second sponsorship is self-sponsored. So if you are sponsoring for your own study and I mean in that case you understand it totally, you are not going to uh, uh, be eligible to avail any kind of stipend. Okay. In the first category, your employer will pay up your fee, so you don't have to pay, but you will not gain anything from the institute. In the second category, you only have to pay, of course, again, you are not getting anything from the institute. And again, this is also available only in computer science and engineering. So these are the four various categories. Other than that, there is another fifth category, which is MTech in data science. That is only for the executive, uh, like highly skilled professionals who are working in some uh, research area or some uh, big corporate centers. Uh, for that program, I will come up with a different video because that needs a, a lot of different uh, focus, which I don't want to cover up here. So that is I'm, that thing is there, but I'm not uh, talking about data science in this video. What is the selection procedure and eligibility criteria? So in this, uh, let's talk about the two programs by MHRD. As MTech 2 year is available in two, Computer Science and NIS, Network and Information Security. See, I have mentioned there another names which you might find at different, different pages of IIT Hyderabad website. So uh, somewhere, uh, MHRD 2 year CSC is also uh, addressed by the name MTCSTA. Okay, MTech in Computer Science Teaching Assistantship. And this is known as MTech in NIS Teaching Assistantship. This one is known as MTech in Computer Science Research Assistantship. Okay, let's see what is the eligibility criteria. So eligibility criteria is same as a four year BTech or BE in any of the engineering or MSc, MCA or MS in Computer Science, IT or Mathematics. Now see what I'm write, uh, writing is uh, what is written in black is for these two categories. For the three years, for computer science, for computer science MTech, either two year or three year, it has to be CF, IT or Mass. When it comes to NIS, the newly introduced program, it also includes along with CS, IT, Mathematics, it also considers electronics student and statistics student. So all those uh, who have done CS, IT, Mass are eligible for these two. And I'm talking in terms of MSc, MCA and MS, not in terms of engineering. For all the programs, any engineering background candidate is eligible to apply provided he has the GATE score. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention the important thing here that is AND. It is a very much explicitly said AND in between. This condition and this, this condition, both conditions should be true at the same time. So valid GATE score in CS or IT. Again, this is in black for CS branch. When it comes to NIS, it is also including EC, statistics and math. So for NIS, anybody who has done GATE exam in either CS or IT or EC or statistics or mathematics for all the five are eligible to apply. Okay. So this is about the eligibility criteria. Now let's come to the selection procedure. Now see one important thing for the TA category of both the types, either for the CSC or for the NIS, they have direct admission through the GATE score. Okay, the direct admission through the GATE score. Also, they have mentioned may call for the interview. So it's not certain that it will be there or it will not be there. Generally, it is through the directly for the GATE score, highest GATE score gets a chance. But sometimes um, they, they take this privilege to mention that it might happen. So be prepared for that also. Okay. Now for the three year M MHRD, it's going to be an entrance exam followed by the interview. So like the, any other uh, three year programs are getting admitted. It's like the same entrance exam again based upon your computer science subject. It's going to be more or less like a gate exam interview again all the uh, computer science subjects like algorithms, operating system, computer architecture or TOC or uh, what else, networks, all these kind of uh, subjects you can expect to be asked, you know, questions are from. So you need to prepare again, I mean, as much for the gate exam, that much like you have to prepare for 
this also i want to mention here for the three year category they sometimes do consider if you have any uh, research exposure or if you have any work experience so candidates who have such uh, you know plus points are weighted a little bit higher than the other those don't have but other those who don't have they have a chance to prove themselves by their interview by the knowledge okay so i mean uh, i can't say it's a plus point for them and it becomes a negative point for them it's a plus point for them those for those who have it and who those those who don't have it they have to make their own plus points okay Let's quickly understand the admission procedure for the other programs uh, the other mode of mtech admission so i had told about the ra3 year which is project funded okay which have two modes that is through the gate with no experience and no gate but at least 6 month at iit hyderabad so you must be working as in a project at the iit hyderabad under some supervisor okay as a project trainee or something the other one which was about the sponsored program for 2 years either the sponsorship should be by the government lab or the psc company or some uh, industry uh, which uh, is also named as mtech computer science economically sponsored or uh, self sponsored for two year okay uh, so here what is important is uh, for all these categories uh, where you are getting sponsored you need a sponsorship letter which states that uh, you are sponsored by your company by your uh, undertaking or wherever you are working you are the employee of okay and you have worked for this much number of times so there is a minimum requirement uh, differently for different different type of categories and this letter should be available at the time of interview when you will be appearing for the interview this letter should be ready okay here uh, when you are a project trainee at iit hyderabad your supervisor under whom you are doing that project work he should be ready to uh, sponsor you for the mtech of course it's a liaising between you and your supervisor so you, he should be ready his project fund to spend on your mtech program so he is the one who is going to spend on you i mean that project will spend on you now let's look at the eligibility criteria of course for all these programs there has to be four year btech or be in any of these stream or msc mc or ms in cs it and mathematics okay then uh, this the one which is having six months at iit hyderabad this category also includes statistics mathematics uh, and uh, electronics background but there is no requirement of gate unless for this particular one okay for this particular one now what is the selection procedure for everything which is uh, non mhrd there is an entrance exam which will be followed by the interview and it's again going to be similar to like computer science background check up uh, everything in the exam is going to be based out of the computer science uh, mostly you can expect an undergraduate uh, uh, courses like which are available in the gate exam also similarly interview but his yes, interview from these categories is mainly mainly about what you have done and what you are expecting in future so because you already have gained some sort of experience so yes you already understand it when you are interviewed it is about what you know as an experience so when a student fresher goes it will be asked from if subject what it ha he has or she has learned in the graduation but if somebody who has a work experience will go up then of course it's going to be about what work you have done what things that you know as a work ex okay so that's something there uh one important thing to be mentioned here is uh iit hyderabad takes separate application for each category for each category means each category for every uh, type of mt program you have to apply separately and of course a separate fees is applicable for each application this is it i guess uh, i try to sum up all the different mtech programs available there so i am going to also provide the links from where uh, you can find out the these details more accurately or you can you know confirm it or just check it out again uh, i hope you all are preparing really well for the admission procedures because right now yes we all are locked down and no interview and nothing is happening but once it opens everything will shoot up simultaneously so you have to be prepared really good so prepare for that because everyone is at home so all of them are preparing so the, i think the competition is going to increase this year it's not going to decrease in any manner this is my belief 
okay so you have to be prepared for that and i will soon come up with another video where i will go i am trying to uh, talk about artificial intelligence which is a designated separate department in iit hyderabad so that also offers a lot of mtech programs so next video we will see about the artificial intelligence uh, till then you apply for this prepare for this and i will see you very soon bye bye